To solve the problem of molecular geometries that can't be accommodated by atomic orbitals in their standard state, S, P, 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 we can hybridize together those orbitals. And just like a hybrid car is a mixture of gas and electric, I can make a mixture of an S and P orbital to create an SP orbital that has new properties. Now, that's what I do for steric number two. If I have to accommodate a bond at 180 degrees, then I'll hybridize together an S and a P, make two equivalent SP hybrid orbitals. They're at 180 degrees from each other. Here I've drawn them with their negative lobes obscured, so each of these positive lobes is one of the SP orbitals. How about steric number three? When I have steric number three, I need to accommodate bond angles of 120 degrees. I need three equivalent orbitals, so I hybridize together three atomic orbitals, the S and two of the Ps, and I form sp2 hybrids. They're equivalent. They point to the vertices of a regular triangle. Here again, obscuring the negative lobes, these are three equivalent sp2 hybrid orbitals. For steric number four, I'll hybridize together s and three p's, making four equivalent orbitals. They're hybrid orbitals, and they point toward the vertices of a tetrahedron. So hybridization allows us to accommodate the geometry for various steric numbers.